Hi guys, this is Martin from DDTSB. I just had an interesting hotline case this week on a Volkswagen Amarok diesel with an AdBlue fault on the AdBlue efficiency. And I think this was an interesting hotline case and uh, we did some great measurements that proved the fault comparing it to a known good vehicle. So try and take a look at this interesting case. The vehicle we were diagnosing was this Amarok and it had a low mileage of about 70,000 kilometers. It had an intermediate fault code on a lack of efficiency of the SCR system. The challenge on this car was that the fault code was set intermittently. The workshop could drive 50 or 100 kilometers after the repair without any fault codes. But when they returned the car to the customer, he returned later after he had been driven more than 1,400 kilometers and then the fault code set once again. So the customers was of course not pleased with this and it was also difficult for the workshop because it was very intermittent this fault. The first thing I asked the workshop to do was to take the measurement in this procedure. I needed to have a live recording of the screen so I could compare it to a known good measurement on the car exactly like the one we had diagnosed. This was the recording done on the diagnostic tool during a road test. Unfortunately, it was on Danish language, but I can translate you the most important values. This is the accelerator pedal that is 100%, so this means full throttle. We have the NOX sensor 1 and the NOX sensor 2, and we have the amount of AdBlue being injected. So this is showed in percentage. These values are the important ones that I found where we could see there was a problem on this car. Now, please note that even though the fault was intermittent, we can actually see the problem during this measurement. We are driving 60 kilometers an hour on the problem car, and this is what we measured. We now have zero percentage on the acceleration pedal. Now we press it to 100%, and please note that the NOX sensor 1 is showing 329 ppm, and NOX sensor 2 are showing far more NOX ppm. Next, you should notice the amount of AdBlue that is being injected. You can see 5%, 0%, 5% again, 0%, 5%, 0%, 0%, and 6%. And now we release the accelerator pedal. And if you noticed the NOX amount on the NOX sensor 2, it didn't actually drop when the AdBlue was injected. This was what triggered me but I didn't know what the AdBlue should inject, what the percentage should be. So I visited another workshop who had a car just with the exact same engine code as this one and take a look at the measurement that was done on known good vehicle. The same measurement on a known good car showed other values. Here we have 100 percentage on the accelerator pedal and note that the NOX sensor 1 is showing way higher values than NOX sensor 2. And this is the way the SCR system should work. Also note that the amount of AdBlue that is being injected is way higher on this known good vehicle. You can see the amount of AdBlue injected is 0 to 50 percentage. And if we compare it to the previous car that had the fault, here we can compare the cars who had the fault this was the one who had the error code, and this was the known good vehicle. Notice we have 100% accelerator pedal and see the NOx values, and also the amount of AdBlue that is being injected. Well, as you might have guessed by now, the problem was solved when they replaced the NOx sensor 1. The NOx sensor 1 was showing a too low value, and this was causing the P20EE lack of efficiency. When we compare the two measurements, we can see on the known good vehicle, it showed a high amount of PPM, and it also shows a lot of AdBlue injected because of the high value from NOX sensor 1. NOX sensor 2 confirms that the AdBlue system works because it has a lower value on the NOX sensor 2. On the faulty vehicle, we could see that the NOX sensor 1 did not uh, show a very high value of PPM, 
and that is why it also didn't inject a lot of AdBlue. The result of this was that the NOX sensor 2 was showing a high value of NOX PPM, and this is why we triggered the fault code P20EE on the lack of efficiency. Another interesting thing about this case was that the car had a previous recall where the factory needed to connect this special, two, special tool to directly to the NOX sensor 1 and 2 control unit to do a special reset. This workshop did not take the chance of doing this because they had already delivered the car back to the customer several times and it was an expensive repair so they would not take any chances and that is why they replaced the NOX sensor 1. And after they replaced the NOX sensor 1 and reset the adaption values, it showed exactly the same measurement on the NOX as the known good vehicle. I hope that you could find this information useful and also that you save the recordings of these measurements if, the, if you do them in your workshop. Please send these recordings into us along with the VIN numbers so we can store them and hopefully help other workshops on a diagnosis with a known good measurement. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.